Hello, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to use Visio and how to get Google Maps into Visio and draw it to scale. Google Maps is a very, very powerful tool, great for event planners just to get an idea of the space they're working with, um, but nothing beats a site visit. So please visit your site, don't just rely on Google Maps because Google Maps is only for a bird's eye view. There could be a lot of things on the ground and the floor and height and so forth that um, Google Maps, Maps definitely doesn't pick up. So, But it gives you a good overview and it's good to um, yeah get an idea of what's happening. So the, one of the f great features of Google Maps is if I right click, it says measure distance. So then I can click there, there, there and back to there. At the bottom, Google Maps gives me how much area surface I'm using and so forth. Really great for planning. I might say, oh, that's a bit too big. Might move that in a bit. And uh, you can really customize it and play around with it and have a bit of fun with it. Just to see how much area space you might need. Um, great for permit planning and so forth, dealing with councils. So, okay, okay, I'm not going to have a, that bigger event. I'll just start to shrink it and so forth. So this is a little handy tip, but we oh, just got distracted there for a moment. So I'll just close that down so it wipes everything out. So I've got my map. I'm having I'm having I'm using Princess Park, happen to be using Princess Park in Melbourne. So I've got this, it's got a three-dimensional view. I can take that three-dimensional view off and turn it off. Um, but it's just not as pretty, so I'm gonna put it back on. And then all these labels and names, I just want to take them off. So I take off the labels there, and I have my Princess Park just by itself. Okay, so the area I'm concerned about is just, just around here. So I need a little bit of space at the, the, the bottom, because when I crop my image and put it into Visio, um, there's going to be stuff down here that I don't want, which you'll see in a second. So the first thing I have to do is I have to find a measurement. So I right-click and measure distance. So you can see there's a drop that'll be there. So I want to do the measurement away from my area. So I'll do it about here because when I crop it I don't want to be able to see this or you might want to be able to see it in your map so it's up to you depending what you want to do. In this case we want to see it. So I'll just do it here. Click once there. Oh, what happened there? It's very weird. Let's close that down. Start again. Um, Measure distance, and then there. So I'll just drag it in until my distance. Oh, geez, very flexible. Okay, so I had a bit of a technical glitch, but I'm back. Uh, so I'm going to measure distance. I've got a point there, and I'm just going to click away from it. So we want, I want to have about 100 meters just because that's a nice, nice measurement to play with. There we go. That is close. I'm going to get it. And so now I can play with that. And I'm going to do what's called a screen capture or a snipper tool. So I'm going to snip what I want. And I'm just going to take that in there. That's all the area I need. It's up to you how much you use. But there we go. So our file save that now. Um, hundred meters. Okay, great. So now I open up Visio. This one like before. New. I do um, office plan. Office layout. Metric because I'm in Australia. And then I insert my image. So that says 75 meters. I change that because it's going to have quite a big area. I'm going to change my page setup and my drawing scale. I'm going to do it 1 to 1000. 
thousand. I'm going to change my like ten meters, which is great. So I'll apply that. And press OK. So I've got three hundred meters there, which is great to play with. I'm going to insert my picture. And there's my 100 meters. It's not straight. Probably could have done a better job of that. Make sure it's straight next time. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my road tool. This is my building tool, sorry. It's my wall. And I'm going to put my wall on top of that. And then on top of my wall, I'm going to do properties. And I'm going to make it 100.7. That was millimeters, sorry. Meters. So that's pretty close, actually. That's pretty good. Didn't mean to do that. Um, so I'm just going to... Didn't mean to get it so precise. Uh, I'm just going to just adjust a little bit. Just so I have got the 100... have got it to scale. If it, 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 it jaggers, it, it locks to grid, so to stop that, just press the Alt key. And see it's a bit smoother, and I have a bit more control over the placement of it. So that's a meter. The last class I'm going to get, again, this is purely a rough. Um, way of doing it, you would want to pass it to a professional once you've done it, but it's a great way to get started and, and start um, doing your ideas. Just shrink that. So that page is quite big. I can move that off now. I know it's the scale. I can get rid of that. So the space is quite big, so I might change my scale around. Um, page setup, drawing scale. Maybe I'll change it to custom. Maybe 1 to 800. M. So it's instead of one to a thousand, it's okay. That seems to be better. That fits better. Beautiful. Now I can then uh, start putting whatever I like on there. So I don't want to. I want to um, just lock the layers. So it's layers, layer properties. I want a new one. I want to call it background. Press OK. Apply, press OK, click on the map again, layers, assign to layer, I want to assign it to background, press OK. So I've assigned that map to the background, to a thing called background. Um, I like the idea of layers, and then layer properties, I want to lock it and apply. And OK, so now I can't move it, it's locked there. Um, layer properties, I can also hide it, so I can get rid of it as well. So it's a great way of tracing on top if you actually don't want to use the map later on. You can just trace over the top of it, like we did in art school when we were in primary. You trace over all the areas, put your own circle in there. I'll just do an example here quickly. Um, I might want to put my own circle. My own little there. My own oval. Um, make it nice and green. There we go. So I've got the third, I know the measurements, I've still got the measurements, layer, layer properties, and then I can make it disappear. And they have Princess Park to scale. But um, that's not what I want to do for this one. So, so we can clear that off. And then we can start laying, so I've got store holders. I I'm going to zoom in there, it's a bit small, but it is quite a big map, so you're going to be zooming in a lot. Um, I tend, it does it in millimeters, um, so what I tend to do is just right click, right click on the properties, generally the stall is 3x3, three three, so I'm just going to put a 3x3 three three there, and press OK. And there we have it, so I just want to get to my pointer again, so I can duplicate those, put more of them. There we go. I can duplicate these two. But hold on the control and select them both. Click on one. Then hold on the control and click the second one. I can duplicate those two. 
Nice and fluffy. Those numbers are a bit annoying. I'm just using my up arrow to move it slightly. Not working for me. There we go. Up arrow, down arrow. Yeah, it's getting there. A little bit rough. I can also select them all. Hold another control button. Selecting that one, selecting that one, selecting that one. And then I can group them. Hmm, I don't know where my grouping tool is. Group. Group. So now they're just one image. I can control D. I can now put another lot of four. Control D again, a lot of four. So there's lots you can do. You can do your stage, your massive stage, you can have all your bands. Yeah, beautiful there. Now you can really play around with this and have a lot of fun, but that's just an example of how you can get your Google Maps to scale and you can really um, create a really accurate and powerful map that you can pass around with your team and so forth. So that's it for Google Maps and Visio. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Bye-bye.